Okay, here's my ARG-7. I actually really like what I did with this, because I actually spent time designing it. So... <laughs> a while ago. It has a very loud engine, considering... <laughs> like... There we go, got my blue tire smoke and everything. it a little bit but like I said the game doesn't really punish you so what I'm doing here I'll just try and explain oh I went I overcooked that and went oversteered off what I'm doing is not staying on the road uh tree <laughs> just uh. so this car has been tuned all the way to the side the top corner for drift road drift so it just like I'm not even doing anything here I'm just turning and it's just doing this like on its own uh, it, you know a brief let go of the uh, accelerator and then just you know or like putting the brake on a little bit and just doing that and it's just pulling out these fat drifts <laughs> so I'm not even having to really handbrake turn or even really use the brake that much I'm just letting go of the accelerator and turning But then sometimes it makes it a little difficult to keep it in a straight line. As you can see here, and I start fishtailing. I would recommend... Uh, the game punishes you for putting everything on max drift or max off-road. And you don't need it to beat those races. You just need it to be roughly within the right corner, the right square of the... Car political compass? <laughs> Are you on-road or off-road? Are you drift? Would drift be the right wing or the left wing in this? <laughs> what would race be? Uh, anyway, yeah, this kind of just reminds me of that. So it's like, it just needs to be in the square and you need to just test drive the off-road to make sure I can handle this off-road and it doesn't feel like ass and I'm not slowing down to a crawl when it touches sand. Therefore, it's fine. Like, the, you know, really it's by feel. Like, the guides they give you are kind of jank. And kind of lie to you. You can have everything on max off-road and it just handle, like, crap. Because the game says, no, <laughs> don't use this car for it. Or you can have it max drift and it still kind of drift badly. Like my Sylvia, for some reason. Um... But then, you know, in the case of my Sylvia, I can have it on race, and it's bad too, because it's underpowered, so I don't know what the game wants from me. <laughs> uh, so, uh, kind of butchered that. Oh, uh, I want to go this way. I want to ruin this orchard. So yeah, you know, and then I'm just feathering the throttle as I go around the corner, just like tap, 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 and that's why you can hear the end, you go, rrr, 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 rrr. that's just, I'm doing that, and it's just like, and in the ones like that uphill, I'm twisting the, um, <clears throat> I'm steering out of it, uh, out of the drift, and I'm just hammering, I'm just flat out on the accelerator, and you can still see I'm underpowered going around those corners, because like I was saying before, you... This has a really low performance rating because I put everything onto max drift and the game just goes, okay, max drift you say, okay, so it now is terrible and has no power because that's how that works. Shut up. Uh, where should I go? That's quite far away. Oh, it's a long drive. I don't really want to go up there. Like, look, it's all the way up there. And driving this car is kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, it's very hard to keep it in a straight line, which is unsurprising. It's like purpose-built for drift. I have not designed it to do anything but drift, so I'm going to show you, I guess, on this journey we will take. Ah, it's like the GPS is telling me, take this busted dirt road. That's sensible. Uh, 
that was just me trying to go around the corner. <laughs> like, you see what I mean? It's just like, no, I will d flamboyantly drift. Like, I'm feathering the left right, just keeping it in the straight line. You can see the cars going, because I'm like, <laughs> the steering wheel is just like going side to side to try and keep it from fish daily. <laughs> Move around the corner, and I'm gonna do this because I'm bored. Haha! <laughs> Take that! Oh, I got to go this way. Oh, oh! I hit the accelerator at the wrong time, and it was like, "You want to do a 180 degree U-turn?" <laughs> it's like, no. <clears throat> yeah, I love this car. It's great for drifting, and uh, I've ruined it for everything else. I could change it so that it's useful for other things, but at this point, it would still be like you know, again, unviable at the high level, so... Because the RX-7 in this game doesn't have enough performance stuff you can do unless you engine swap, and then it's just like, yeah, I got other cars for that, so... so. Nah, it doesn't matter, I'll just go through it. It doesn't... I don't have to. Or like, it's a problem, I just slide through here, because I'm gonna go off into some parking lot place in a minute anyway, so... <laughs> Did I ever talk about my friend who used to obey traffic law in GTA? And would be like, I will wait at this red light, and I will do all of this properly, and was like being really serious about it because he thought the police would stop him on those things in that game, and was like, I will, oh, I can't indicate, oh no, and was like being really like, I feel like everyone knew one guy growing up when playing GTA and games like this, where they were like, kind of like that and you don't know why, like, it, it was either you knew someone or you were that person who was like, I'm going to try and, like, roleplay being a good citizen in a street racing game about crime. <laughs> I know, you'd be like, uh, okay. And then get angry when the, like, game was not prepared to, like, reward you or, like, do anything when you do things properly, like... Also, when I got Need for Speed Underground 2, my friend genuinely didn't seem to understand how to play the game, even though he loves cars and stuff, and he used to come around my house and play the game, but wouldn't do any events, and would just do... There was a mini-game in Need for Speed Underground where you could interact with random street racers who were just around. Oh, well, that was not well signposted, or I'm um, just bad depth perception there. And he would just uh, do the one where you just try and outrun them again and again and just like, go on the highway and just outrun guys for like tiny amounts of money and go, look, I won, look, I won. And I was like, yeah, you can do events, you know. And he's like, uh, what events? He's like, it's on the map. He's like, couldn't really like interact with the map because uh, he hadn't played a lot of games with a map at this point and a radar. So it was just like cruising around. <laughs> challenging street races for like a hundred to seven hundred bank and was like oh yeah i got a thousand bank that time and i was just like you, you're making this so slow for yourself <laughs> okay same guy like he didn't want to push the boat out too far he wanted to just street race like you know i'm on the highway i will outrun this guy oh that's not really street racing so it's fine. It's like, you know, look, the police aren't going to come down. <laughs> the police aren't going to kick my bedroom door in and go, He's playing Need for Speed Underground 2! <laughs> Get him! Traffic violation! <laughs> so again, you can see second lap. I'm pretty close to doing the whole thing. And like, if I do a pretty tight drift around some corners, I'm getting like 5-10k points easily, and again, it's only the tight corners I'm actually tapping brakes. Here I'm just trying to, see it's just a little like it loses power when I go around the corners here because of the low performance of this car, and that means that with the big sweeping corners I'm kind of petering out at the end 
which means that the drift stages are quite hard on this car because it drifts very easily but loses power very quickly as it drifts. You see here I'm just going down, 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 40 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour, then it just stops. And I'm like, oh, I need to build up speed, otherwise it's just not going to get around the next corner. Every time I drift is slow, watch the speedometers like, <laughs> straight back down to light. And it means that like, it just doesn't have the ability to power through on those fast, long drifts that you want to combo them together in one big smooth sweep. You don't want to have to keep stopping and go, wait, wait, because then you lose combos. Got to keep the combo. Here we go, and I've got like 200k. Nearly. Easy. But yeah, you know, probably not what they wanted me to do. They wanted me to use a more powerful car. <laughs> yeah, there you go, drift. Drift's over for now.